Okay, this is a short video um, about how to set the privacy settings so that nobody but your students or their parents can comment on these photographs. Um, Flickr is really adept at that. You can actually control who can see it. Uh, so this is why it's very useful for uh, particularly uh, K through 6, that kind of error where um, sometimes school administrators are a little bit worried. So basically, in your case, uh, you go to you and you're going to go down to where it says uh, your account and then we're going to here there's some tabs and right here there's privacy and permissions so we'll click on those and then <coughs> you can edit each one of these categories excuse me you know who can download your stuff who can actually share or pass on your uh, videos that kind of thing who can print your pictures uh, if we go down a ways, you'll see exactly what I'm looking for in this case. Uh, content filters, who can see what on your profile, who will be able to see, comment on or add notes, defaults for new uploads, comment on any Flickr user, add notes and tags, your contacts. So we can edit this. And so who can see your photo stream? You can make it, if you make it only you, then where it says your friends, we'll get to that in a minute, you're actually going to be able to include your friends, so you can make it only you, you can make it private. Then the same way with comments, you can make comments only your friends and or family or your contacts, that works, all right. And then, um, I'm thinking you're about going to have to let every anyone see them. You're going to have to play around with these settings, all right? But it's the commenting. So what you don't want is inappropriate comments, particularly from older students who will sometimes find these accounts and, and uh, you know, upset your younger students. So who can comment down here? It's your contacts, the only people that can, con can make uh, comments. And then who could add notes, that kind of thing. Uh, you can select that. So then you can save the settings. Now over here in contacts, okay, this is where you get to control um, who's actually going to be able to do this. So you invite your friends and essentially inviting your friends means you're going to send everyone an email message and if they respond to that message that means they automatically get included in the list of people who can actually view your uh, comments and make comments themselves on your Flickr account. Once again, you have to play around with this a little bit. You could call these people friends and families, and that's how you could decide if they could really see it as well as comment on it. So I think it's intuitive enough that if you go through it, but basically you want to go to you and go down to your 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 uh, profile. Excuse me, your account. Go down to your account, and then after you've played around with that, then you want to go over here to contacts and invite friends specifically to view this Flickr account. So what you could do, you could actually set up a Flickr account, not your account, but you can make it a class account, uh, you know, in some fashion. You could name it so that it was a class account, and then you could send email from that to your students, get them to join it, and it kind of becomes a closed system. I, I think it's a very uh, powerful tool, a great way to make presentations, for students to make presentations. It'll feel interactive, and I think, um, you know, ever since I discovered, I, I just love it. I use it, in, I use it in a photography class that I teach. I can see it in history classes, biology classes very easily. Uh, and, of course, I use it extensively to, you know, to document and to uh, uh, document my family. Okay, thank you.